welcome to Big Brother. E.T. caught up with Julie Chen to chat all things Big Brother, including her Big Brother fashions. I am very fortunate in that I have a very hardworking, talented woman who's helped me for the last 10 years of my life, and it's what I call adult garanimals. She says, wear earring number one with dress number two and shoe number five. And I'm like, ta-da! Good evening and welcome to Big Brother. Of course, we had to have Julie take a look back at some of those, quote, adult garanimals. There have been many mistakes. We acknowledge that. Oh, yeah, season one, Julie. Okay, the fashion I don't really mind. I honestly um, think you look younger now. And Thank you. Yeah, you know what? Because I was trying to look older then. News. Because when I got into news, I was, you know, in my 20s, and I thought I'll be more credible if I look older. So I cut my hair really sh short. And for some reason, I thought thin eyebrows made me look older. <laughs> now that was a look. Ah, okay. The hairdo is not good because it looks like I borrowed um, Darth Vader's helmet and went like this and then put it over my head and made it a hairdo. Oh, that's just terrible. This is, there's nothing good about this. Okay, the woman that I work with who's very talented wasn't working with me yet then. Okay, we will not blame her for this. Okay, night. somehow that happened. It was too much heat on a round brush. So, no, I mean, come on. Terrible. Um, this one I don't love because I remember it. I went to town on Twinkies and donuts this summer. And that sweater actually fit at the beginning of the season when we bought it. And at the end, it was like, <laughs> I was like, thank God it's knit. <laughs> it's, it's stretching. Yeah, I'm a little sausagey there. This is the infamous Snuggy dress. Oh, yes. By the way, this dress has gotten so much bad press, but I have grown to embrace it because I was 10 days away from delivering a baby. There's a baby under that tent. Which is impressive you were able to be on TV 10 days before. Okay. You might want to call it a maternity slanket. And that is by a designer that is still pop. The designer I'm wearing right now. Oh, no, okay. I promise you it was fun in person. On television, I looked like a member of the Coneheads. <laughs> I was the Asian Conehead cousin. This was going this You know what this is? This is the Asian Marge Simpson. You see, that's not appealing. <laughs> that's not appealing at all. Because it's so narrow, these sunglasses, it just points out the bulbousness. And um, that's not good. But I, but I bet with, if the sunglasses weren't on, the rest would be... Perfect. Not perfect, but... Perfect. Acceptable. I'll say perfect. Thank you.